good evening. I am here, and so is the game. Uh, hey, hey, what's up? You're coming out of the gate hard here. Nice noises, nerd. Yeah, <laughs> the title screen. <clears throat> it's students going about their day. I'm here. It is Sunday night slash Monday morning, 12.30 a.m. A bit later, a bit less streaming than I would, would have liked to do this weekend. That being said, uh, I have put quite a decent chunk of time into this game over the weekend. Uh, I streamed for about eight and a half hours, and I've been, I've, I have about 16, 15 hours. So I played about seven hours between yesterday and today. And uh, I've done a fair bit. Um, just in terms of map exploration, I'm just gonna really quickly recap this. Um, so, we finished the first gym. We, we essentially started here, we went up and to the left. Yesterday and today, I explored all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, sorry, all of this, not here. This is actually too high for me to get to, the section here between Area 4 and, uh, and, and, uh, was it? Cabo Poco, where I started the game. I actually can't explore this yet. I haven't gone over here because this river is too big. Uh, there is a tunnel right here that leads over here, and I did explore some of this area as well. Um, and pretty much everything in Area 2 I've explored. And I started heading up this way, but I didn't continue on through it. Um, in fact, I have, um, I kind of have a map on hand that tells me the best way to go about it level scaling wise. And I think what I'm going to do is instead of continuing this way, I'm going to head to the right here, do the first Titan Pokemon, uh, do this gym here, and then do the Starfall Street mission here. Actually, they say you shouldn't do this mission right away, apparently. Like, that should be the seventh out of the out of the first seven and uh, this would only be two and three that I'm doing they actually recommend going back over here and doing this uh, you'll notice I've unlocked some fly spots there's a tower here I went up the tower over here as well also there's just a random sign that says Grand Olive Orchard I'm gonna fly over here actually there's a, there's actually a sign over here that says Grand Olive Orchard and uh, people say it's one of the ten sites of Paldea and by just going over here, it unlocked another fly spot, even though the Pokemon Center is literally right there. Um, I did climb the tower. I'll actually show... I did climb both of those towers, you can see. That one in the distance as well. Um, and I pretty much just caught every Pokemon and fought every trainer I could come across while not activating any story beats at all. Um, and what I will do... Actually, one second. Is that a new Pokemon there? No, I have Starly. I did skip a couple of evolved Pokemon that I ran into, but I did find a bunch that I want to, uh, get. Also, uh, I, I found out how to get up here to the Pokemon League. So yeah, that's my weekend. I kind of just went the whole weekend fucking around with stuff. I did get my new, uh, webcam today that I mentioned, and I tested it out, and it looks really good. And yes, this game is still a janky mess. Did you see that thing to run faster? Yes, I did. I saw two glitch techs that can be used in this game. Uh, first, if you're going up a ledge, and it's slightly too... Like, if you could walk up it, but then Maridon or Karidon fall off. If you jump and move backwards, uh, you actually can climb up the wall, as long as it's not too steep. And yes, if you have two controllers active, uh, you move twice as fast. Hey, Selene, have you considered starting your streams with a five-minute countdown? Yes, I have. The thing is, I don't have like a, I don't have an, a stream starting soon image, nor do I have music to play during it. So, if I did that, I would need to kind of build up a. First off, I would need to get a stream starting soon, like image or animation, and um, I would kind of need a good set of music to play during it because. Playing the same shit every night gets really old. Okay, wait, I'm gonna try this out, hold on. Alright, wait a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get this to sync. There we go. Alright, so. Normal stick running. Other stick doesn't do anything. Normal stick running. 
two sticks running. Oh, it's not, it's not doing anything. Maybe it only works with the... Uh, wait. Maybe it only works if I have a valid second controller configuration. Hold on. Let's see if I can get that working. I want to see if I can get that glitch working. It'd be really funny if I can. No, I have it. It's du dual and dual. Okay. I don't know. It ain't, it ain't working. Maybe it's only because the video I saw used the Joy-Cons as the main one. No, let's not go in there yet. I do have a lot to show off in there, but it'll be a brief moment. All right, I'm going to try it like this. Okay, yeah, I know. No, change order grip. Here we go. Okay, and then... Okay. So one Joy-Con. Camera control. Nothing unusual. Second stick not working. Yeah, it's not working. Maybe I have to do it from outside the town. We'll do, we'll do, we do a little, a little testing. We do a little trolling. Yeah, no, it ain't working. It ain't happening. I think... I think what has to happen is it has to be two controllers in slot, like, slot one. I don't know how to make that work, but it must be, like, a third-party thing. But it doesn't look like it's working here. It's one below freezing here. It is, it is freezing here, too, as well. I don't know the te direct temperature, but with wind, it's, uh, it's pretty cold. Um... It's finally cold enough that I can have my air conditioner off. Alright, anyway, let's, let's get back here. <coughs> Maybe it has to be Joy-Cons and only Joy-Cons. Yeah, unfortunately my second pair of Joy-Cons don't work. Hey, Ephraim. Uh, but yeah, it's freezing here, which means that next week when I go to Chicago, it's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be bone chilling because it's always colder over there than it is over here so I did look around a bit because one thing obviously the big thing you could do with uh, Karai Don and that was not me that game just did that automatically <laughs> that was great hold on I'm saving that one that's going on Twitter later uh, how was the meme vid I oh it was funny I'm sorry, I forgot to reply to it. I, I thought I thought it was funny though. It worked perfectly. Well, I want to see because we can. No, okay. If I could show off the other glitch, I will. If if a if a slope is, yeah. If it's like that, I could do this. Jump backwards. Jump backwards. Yeah, jump backwards again and again. Yeah, we did it! Oh my god. I didn't know that would work. Where am I going? Where's it taking me? Okay, it's taking me where I was going to go anyway. But yeah, if you're on a uh, if you're on a slope that's just th like if it's a slope that Coridon's like scrambling down, you could jump it uh, jump up it backwards. Friend used to do trucking runs up to Chicago. Once got so cold the joke and one of his diesel fuel froze up and he had to spend a whole day in the town till it could warm up. Yeah, it's brutal. 
And last year I went without it without like a heavy jacket on. This year I'm definitely packing for that. So I saw this the first stream and I didn't go up here, but yeah. Um, this is the Pokemon League up here. Just seen Desert play this game the other day. He was roasting and spent nearly half an hour trying to get on a roof. I've gotten on a few roofs. There's an item on top of uh, your character's roof, but uh, I can't get up there yet. There's like no way to get enough height. Ooh, wait. I hear things that I haven't gotten yet. Give me gold coins. So uh, there's some Pokemon here, including this. That was the one he was trying to get? Oh. Yeah, no, I don't think you could get that with the basic upgrade. So there's a double mouse Pokemon called Tandem Mouse that I completely missed because I didn't come up here the first time. Ah, uh, and just some other assorted Pokemon. But yeah, in typical, like, Pokemon fashion. This reminds me of Magical Party, which I'm certainly only I know you know about. I, is, is that like Magical Vacation on the D, on the uh, DS? Or Magical Star Sign? I mean, gym badges yet, but maybe I'll test, test for the interview anyway and pass. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So there's a Pokemon Center here, so I could fly here. Um, I found out if someone has a black text box... Uh, that means stay the fuck away from them. This guy has a level 57 Pokemon, and I'm like, oh, okay. I don't think I'm supposed to fight you now. Now it's a show card game, we have to scratch off cards like lotto tickets. Oh. There's a Pokemon Center here. Uh, I just heard... Money. Money Imp, where are you? I know there's at least... They respawn after a while, so if you know where to get... Yeah, hey kid, want free whaling? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be like, yeah, you're not supposed to be here yet. I don't know if this will respawn. There was also items back here. There was an item behind the, the academy, too. Yep, they respawn. And, uh, you can actually go to the Pokemon League right away. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Let's see. Michael from Naranja Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of one gym badge. Very well, you may now proceed to the interview room. Yeah, so you thought that getting into the Pokemon League in previous games was tough. In this game, you have to go to a job interview. Thank you very much for your time today. Please, do have a seat. Let anyone these days, have you seen that Galarian fellow? No turning back now. What are you doing? Please take your seat. Slide into the chair. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Now let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. As I mentioned, this portion will take the form of an interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Let's see. So you have one badges. One badges. They didn't account for that one. Now I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, Michael. Please think carefully, as you may be disqualified immediately, depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get in here today? By flying taxi. Uh-huh. What type was the very first Pokemon you chose? I accidentally picked water, and it didn't matter. He still let me... Go ahead. I take it you like the fire type, then. Next, please tell me why you want to become a champion. I was invited by a friend. Each person has a different reason, of course. Now, please tell me, is there anything that's very popular at your school? I see. I'm glad it's something wholesome. Next is the final question from me. Do you have any comments or questions about the Pokemon League or the gyms? 
This interview is pretty tough. The gym tests are a lot of fun. Gym leaders are pretty strong. Not I've said this before, and they were like, well, it's good to know that we're keeping up our, uh, our strength. Oh, is that so? Very well. That concludes this interview. One of the staff will let you know the results. Thank you again for your time. Now, please excuse me. That person's very short for that chair that they're sitting in. Anyway, that's how you become a champion in this game. You gotta pass a job interview. Sorry to keep you waiting, Michael. Now, regarding the chat results of the interview portion of your champion assessment, I'm sorry to say you didn't pass. Just between you and me, I heard they won't interview you seriously until you have all eight gym badges. You could take the champion assessment as many times as you want. I hope you come back for another try soon. And yeah, that's uh, that's the Pokemon League, and and this is a big gap full of nothing. Uh, so yeah, pretty much spent the last couple days exploring all this down here. I went over here. There's actually something interesting over here. Um, that I could show off. What's the point? I should turn your way instantly if you have no badges. Yeah. Flavor text. To be honest, I think it's because. If I'm not mistaken, the way it's going to work is that um, you can't actually do the Pokemon League until you've finished all three stories. So even if you have all eight badges, what's going to happen is um, they'll interview you, and then they'll be like, we'll get, you back we'll get back to you with your results later, and then you have to finish the other two stories for the results to show up. Come on, cry on, please. You're embarrassing me. Oh man, a treasure chest. It was a ruse. Yep, that's what the gimme goal actually looks like. There's one of these on every tower as well. Uh, I've caught one already. Defeating them in battle is actually the quickest way to get coins because it gives you like 50. 50 to 60 if you beat one in battle. I think it depends on the level. It gave me 200. Never mind. Okay. That's a lot. I have like... Where is it? I have 459. I think you need 1,000 to uh, evolve Gimme Ghoul. Oh, great. I have to get used to the... So my jo my pro controller drifts left and right on the on the right stick, and my Joy Cons drift down on my right stick. So I either have to deal with the game constantly doing this, or I have to deal with the game constantly doing this. Also, there was an item there I didn't pick up. What do they make the paid ATM? I don't know. Look at the wall. Look at the texture here. It's like sinking on the right. You've heard of backwards long jumping. Well, get ready for backwards tall jumping. Because that's what this is. <laughs> it's due to the fact that when you jump... They, the Karadon and Maridon stick their ass in the air, so it's like really easy to balance yourself with that. And yeah, it's apparently been confirmed. Items do respawn, so I could just pick shit up again when I see it. This crystal wasn't here before. When I came down here yes the, the other day. Am I imagine Am I just imagining that? I don't remember that crystal being there, and I've been over here like three times. Anyway, around here, that trainer right there talks about it, but there's this. 
there's this weird uh, purple door thing with a big chain on it. Um, oh wait, what is there flavor text for it? Faint writing is carved into the shrine. Herein lies sealed the ruinous tablets. I don't know how to open this. Uh, this looks like the this looks like the opening portal in the Tomorrow People. The 1990s version of the Tomorrow People, the one that aired on uh, Nickelodeon, not the not the old like 70s Tomorrow People. And God forbid, not the 2010s Tomorrow People that was on the CW. That show sucked. Not even not even uh, what's his name, not even Jacob from uh, Lost could make that show good. Had no idea made a third round. Yeah, it was on the CW back in, uh, like, 2012, 2013. It was 2013. Because I remember I was playing Pokemon X, or Pokemon Y, while it was still on the air. And the clip for Twitter? Wait, what? Where? Backwards long jumping. Yeah, that's pretty, that's the, that's the, that's the tech right now. Until Game Freak patches it. Damn it, I'm so bad with that distancing. But yeah, um, it made a, it made another round in 2013 on the CW, and it had um, I don't remember his name. Who's the guy that played Jacob and Lost? That's that's gonna kill me now if I don't figure that out. Mark Pellegrino, that was it. I didn't even I didn't even look as soon as I said that. As soon as I typed his name in, Mark Pellegrino. He was like the, he's like a villain slash antihero, and the season ends with like. A cliffhanger. And it's just garbage, honestly. <laughs> when I was a kid, I grew up with a 90s version of, of the Tomorrow People. With, um... I don't really know any of the actors that were on it, except Christopher Lee was in, was, the, was in it. He was in one season of it. Christopher Lee was, I believe, a villain in one of the seasons. All around Palde, you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a terror raid battle and try to defeat a powerful terror Pokemon. I have not tried these yet. In terror raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to battle a powerful terror Pokemon. You can battle alongside faraway friends while you're on online mode, or nearby friends while you're in offline mode. Oh, no. These battles will pit you against terror Pokemon with their terror types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the terror Pokemon, you'll receive a chance to catch it and also get special items. Challenge alone, change my Pokemon, challenge as a group. I'm alright, I just burped. Oh, it's a Dunsparce. I mean, I already have a Dunsparce, but... Alright, you know what? Oh, you get LP just for checking it, okay. Well, I know I know to do that from now on. I purposely did not check any of these, because I wanted to save that for stream. Let anyone join. Not a fan of the raid battles. Yeah, I mean, I haven't tried one in this game yet. I've heard they're a little more, um... I've heard they're a little more active than the ones in, in Sword and Shield. But we'll see. Oh, uh, th these people are gonna, like, take these out in a moment for me. It's a one-star Dunspar, so this is gonna be easy, and its terror type is water. It's more of a time trial than waiting for everyone to take their turn, yeah. Oh, that's a new Pokemon. I saw that one in the wild, um, but I, ha I wasn't able to even engage in it. In fact, I purposely tried to not catch any Pokemon that were too high level out of my range, but there was a one or two that I've gotten that I'll, I'll show off in a little bit. All right, you know what? We're not waiting for... Uh, we'll wait, like, 30 more seconds. Oh, okay. I have one of those. Uh... Finizen. I haven't changed my party, but yes, a lot of my party has evolved uh, off stream. Coco was on stream, though. That was at the end of the final stream I did on Friday. Or I guess the end of the stream. I uploaded it in three parts, but it was, uh, it was three streams. Um, okay, that might be spoilers there. I believe that's a spoiler Pokemon, so... I'm ready to start. Oh, help has arrived. Now you got a full party to raid with. Okay, so it's the AI. I've heard the AI for single-player raids are much better. Uh, Sword and Shield's AI sucked. There were, there were people that would just send out Pokemon that would use... Uh, 
like self buff moves. Actually, that isn't a spoiler Pokemon. I don't know. Battle cheer and run. Okay, so you get three cheers. Call outs. Okay. Oh, cool. So you can actually um. Actually, kind of do things in real time. That's neat. Oh, never mind. One of the partners already took it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I lost most of my Pokeballs. I had to grind some more out. This music's good. This is definitely a Toby Fox track. I actually don't know. Oh, wow. Dunspar skills, health feather, tiny mushrooms. Nice. See, so you, you still get goodies for doing this too. I didn't get to attack at all there because that was a one star fight. And I'm with people that have probably beaten the game already. Chili. Alright, so now I have a Dunsparce with water terror type, which is cool. Oh, these crystals do disappear. Okay. So I've, uh, I've caught a few, hold on, health feather, raises HP, okay, so yeah, that's the training thing, and I could sell these. So I've caught a, a few Pokemon, we were in box one, uh, before, and, uh, as you can see, here's box two, and box three. <laughs> uh, let me move Dunsparce over here. I'm putting all the, the unusual Terra types in one folder. So I, I, I caught a Scyther there off stream with normal Terra type. Yeah, the load load time and this is a little slow. <laughs> all right, well I'll do I'll do a more challenging one when I can. But now that I know to check all of these, I'm probably going to. That said, they're not always dens when you see these lights coming up. Uh, some of them are just the rare Pokemon. Not rare, but the, the Terra type Pokemon in the wild. This is a one star Tentacool. I actually don't have this yet. Tentacool in this game are regional. I've, I've, I haven't seen one in battle yet, but I know on the map it looks red orange. So there's something, there's something up with it. Okay, we'll select our newly evolved Palmo. We'll go this one alone. Alone, but they still fill the remaining spots with CPUs. So this is going to be a tentacle with flying type, Terra type. I'm not super big on the Terra type stuff. I don't like how it could only be used once and you have to go to a, a, a Pokemon Center to recharge it. So what's different about it? Uh, if your Pokemon was knocked out, it'll be revived after a while, but you can also take a time pen you also take a time penalty, so try to avoid letting your Pokemon faint if you can. You also perform a special action in Terra Raid Battles, cheering. By cheering for your side, you can do things like boosting the stats of the Pokemon on your side or helping them recover their health. You can perform three cheers per battle. Toed School? Oh, this is a new Pokemon, entirely. Okay, what's well, the water type? Think about the terror mechanic and how it affects competitive. Any thoughts on that so far? Oh, right, it's flying as well. Yeah. So this is an entirely new Pokemon. I think it's fine competitively. It's on the same level as, I'd say, D Dynamaxing and Z-moves. The issue I have is in single player, you can only do it once per Poke Pokemon Center visit. 
Which is really silly. Like, why not just once per battle? Oh, great. They figured out land. Now they won't be stop appearing as well, just like Tentacle and Zubat. But what is this? What type is this? I've never caught one. I've never even seen one in battle yet. I thought it was like a regional Tentacool. I wonder if it evolves. Because I don't think Wiggler evolves. Wood Ear Pokemon. It's ground and grass. Toed School lives in muggy forests. The flaps that fall from its body are chewy and very delicious. Yum. Wood Ear Pokemon. Ground and grass. That's a terror flying terror types pretty damn good for that. Let me say, that's a good compliment to those types. I guess once per battle would let you run over too many enemies. Regular, it's too limited. I mean, here's the problem: the the, in, the fights aren't that hard in this game. I fought every trainer I've come against, and not only that, but they very clearly mark the trainers that are higher level than you with that with a black text box. So it's like, it's like why even bother? Alright, let me drop that here. That Dunspar should caught would wreck that thing. Yeah, normal water, ground grass, and flying. Dunspar is normal? I thought it was a ground type. Whatever. Uh, that's... I, I did that on stream. That was the trade I got. Booty dude. Fought that guy already up there. Look at him. So tiny. Oh, too far. Uh, yeah. If, as you could see, uh, three of my other Pokemon have evolved. Meryl became Azumarill, which, no, no surprise there. Palmy became Palmo, who's just Palmy, but larger. Two feet. Uh, and, and Lechonk became, um, Oinkalone. 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 There you go. You bipedal are Pokemon, yeah. Actually, was Paw me a bipedal? I can't... I don't remember. No, it was it was quadrupedal. No, no, it kind of is standing up on its front... I don't know. I haven't looked at most of these images. Anyway, I think it might be time for a team switch out here, because, uh, definitely got more Pokemon I would like to use instead. But I think, uh, before we go any further... Actually, wait, let me... Oh yeah, I found if you if you run away from a battle, it counts as losing and you still black out. Like you still run back to the Pokemon Center and you still pay out your opponent. I said I got my new uh, webcam today. 1080p, 60fps, autofocus and zoom. So much better than the one I have. The one I have does not do any of that. Mesa Goza. Rookie D. Wow, we're already running into new stuff. Razor. Yep. Just like my, uh, my keyboard. When did I get 17 Ultra Balls? How did that happen? Had a sniffle there. Um, but yeah. The only thing I don't really like about this new webcam is it's very heavy, and my monitor's a flat screen. So, uh, it's kind of got to balance very precariously on it. I mean, it's, it's secure because it has the clip, like the other webcam, but still. Um... It also has a manual, it has like, it doesn't have a flap, 
cover like my other webcam. It has like a full lens cap that I have to pull off if I want to cover it up. And if I put it on too hard, it like gets stuck on there. So I have to be very careful with it. It's really nice though. And it, I've, I've tested it out. I've checked the video quality. It's not perfect. There's still points where it's, it doesn't seem like it's focusing enough and it doesn't look high quality enough on OBS, but it's still leagues better than the camera I was using. The lighting itself, the lighting on its own is like much, much better. This Pokemon is brave and reckless. The white, rocking, the white markings around a Rookie D's eyes intimidate faint-hearted Pokemon. Send it to the box. Oh, we have ladders and shit. The cave down there. This went shopping for sandwich ingredients and bought more than I could use. Mind taking some? There you go. Try making some nice, tasty sandwiches. A picnic's not a picnic without them. Since you're here, you want to kick back up with your Pokemon? Yeah, it's, it's this is a uh, it's just a heal spot. All right, but if you get worn out, don't push it. Just come by and kick on, kick back anytime. Roasting finally stopped for now. Oh, nice. Did the medicine kick in? Who's got Pikachu? Destroying most of the trainers here, probably. I got a rocket helmet as well. Before I go any further, though, uh, I have caught quite a few Pokemon, as you could see, <laughs> since I started playing, since I went offline. Uh, hold on. This was all stuff I favorited, right? Yeah. I don't know why I took this screenshot. Oh, because the switch reflected my uh, my Joy Cons while I was playing in handheld mode. Oh, I screen capped them all, just because I'm gonna do what I did with Legends Arceus. It is time for a recap. So I got Houndor. Um, let's see what happened here? Oh, I think this was me finding a. Uh, yeah, it was me finding the chest for the, uh, the Gimme Ghoul, which I then caught. Uh, Pokemon was born inside a chest about 1,500 years ago. Sucks the life force out of scoundrels who try to steal the treasure. Then I got Ghastly. Uh, then something happened here. Why is this so loud? Oh, I found the door. Yeah. Okay, so that was something I already showed off. Starly. This is me climbing one of the towers. I think this is the first one, because there was a TM here, yeah. If you grab a TM, uh, then you get the recipe for it automatically. If it's one you haven't had. Yeah, and there's usually a Gimme Ghoul at the very top. Metal Gear Ladder comp compilation. I found an Eevee. It was very rare spawn uh, near near the town. I finally got Makakita. Um, there was a mini game that I didn't show off. There was a, like an advanced version of the olive roll, and by beating it, I got 30 pieces of olive oil. Apparently, Cruets. Uh, I got Rockruff, Drifloon, Fampy. I got a new Pokemon named Nimble. Has a third set of legs folded up. When it's in a tough spot, this Pokemon jumps over 30 feet using the strength of its legs. Uh, I found Skiddo. Mankey, Mudbray, uh, here's Capsace Kid, a spicy pepper Pokemon. The more sunlight this Pokemon bathes in, the more spicy chemicals are produced in its body, and that's the spicier its moves become. Spicy moves. Uh, I found Flittle, which I didn't know what the hell this was, but uh, it's a frill, apparently. Flittle's toes levitate about half an inch above the ground because of the psychic power emitted from the frills on the Pokemon's belly. Uh, I caught Tadbulb. Uh, Tadbulb shakes its tail to generate electricity. Since its danger, it will make its head blink on and off to alert its allies. Um, I found... I found Charcadet in, like... They apparently rarely spawn, but they they were in, like... Is that that... Is this is that electric frog? Yes. 
It's the unevolved form of it. I found Char Cadet. Um, this is a new Pokemon that hasn't been revealed, but I think you could probably guess what it turns into. Um, yeah. Burnt Charcoal came, came to life and became a Pokemon. Possessing a fiery spirit, Char Cadet will battle even tough opponents. This was like in a corner, like a hidden spot, and it was just spawned all on its own. Uh, and I found another one eventually out in the open, but they're apparently rare. Uh, I got the... I got... Did I catch Osmero? Was that from a Devolving? Caught Swablu. Uh, I found a... This is so much louder. I fought a trainer with a Gibble. And, uh, he has... The, the Pokemaniacs clothes in this game are ridiculous. Dex updates when evolve now, yeah. Oh, yeah, he spawned... <laughs> Look at that, wait. Wanna keep that moment. Speed! Sorry, Vinny. That's why I capped that one. Ah, oh, shit. It, like, displaces you. That annoys me. Okay, where was I? Um, right here. I got another one, new one called Tinkatink, which is a metalsmith fairy steel type. As a hammer. You can't see it because the text box is blocking it. it Slings its handmade hammer around to protect itself, but the hammer is often stolen by Pokemon that eat metal. Uh, I got Bronzor. This is the t this is where I flew to at the beginning of the stream. It apparently just unlocks a fly spot when you get to it. Here's the Tandem Mouse Pokedex entry. Uh, exhibiting great teamwork, they use their incisors to cut pieces out of any material that might be a useful nest, and then make off with them. Got Rufflet. Um, here's me fighting a Toxel with the Azumaro. I don't know what I did, why I recorded this. Oh, this was, um, this was the, the evolution for, you want that Pokemon, the one with the hammer? Also, yeah, you can move the camera around while they're evolving. Oink alone. Pride of its fine, glossy skin and emits a concentrated temp scent from the tip of its tail. Uh, got Meditite, got Riolo, Riolu. Apparently, I must have gotten it right outside the city. Uh, got Toxel, uh, got Surskit. I fought. I caught this one, but I did fight a Scyther with the. No I showed this off already the, with the normal Terra type. Um, yep, there it is. Oh, I think this is uh, this is Palmy evolving into Palmo. I think there is a third form for it as well. Probably Palma, Palme. When its group is attacked, Palmo is the first to leap into battle, defeating enemies with a fighting technique that utilizes electric shocks. Got a Dunsparce. Uh, here's a picture of Gumi Goo. I don't know. I got Gumi. I got Pachirisu. Got Murkrow. This fucking thing. This and Komala. I spent so many fucking Pokeballs trying to get these two. I don't know why they were so hard to catch. Got Hatena. I got Floet. I got a, I got a few Floets. I actually have not gotten any Flababes yet. Uh, I thought I got one, but apparently they were all Floet. Uh, I caught a Fletchinder for some reason. Uh, here's another clip of me climbing a tower. Oh! There was- yeah. There's a glitch here. Yeah, I- I suddenly started standing on the, uh, abo above the wall. Uh, that's what the Pokemaniacs clothes look like. It's like a vest with, like, Pokemon heads on it. Seems dangerous, yeah. Time to eat, yep. Got Shelter. I got a new bird called Watrol, electric fi flying. When its wings catch the wind, the bones within produce electricity. This Pokemon dives into the ocean, catching prey by electrocuting them. This is what that evolution was that we saw in the Terra Raid battle just a moment ago. Uh, I didn't get a good shot of this, but I fought a Sligu with Poison-type, Terra-type, and I couldn't, I couldn't even make a dent in it. It was like 10 levels higher than Fuecoco, and I could not even like, I couldn't do like even a fifth of its health bar before it just knocked me out. Uh, Petalil, uh, this was a thing I was going to post on Twitter and be like, hey, I could see my house from here, because I could literally see my house from here. Yeah. 
Uh, I caught an Arcanine. I don't know. I don't know why and how, but I was like, "Fuck it, I'll just catch it." Because I got its health down really low, and I was like, "I might as well just take the chance." So I have an Arcane. I don't have any Growlits yet, though. Sableye. Got to land it, both male and female. Uh, I found this black steak. Which I think we saw while I was walking around the other area, too. There was one near Los Patos, or whatever the town was called. Only that one was purple. It had a purple glow. This one's a yellow glow. There's an ominous black steak driven in the ground. We pull out the steak. When you pull out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking too. It's Mother 3. To be honest, I think I know what that's related to. But, well, we'll see. I found a Larvitar. I actually saw it spawn in the cave I'm in. From outside. And there was just a Larvitar walking around like pitch black. So I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll get it. Um, I fought this Pokemon that I didn't catch. Bombardier. I would like to get one at some point. Um... There was this cave full of evolved Pokemon that I just didn't catch any in. Uh, Toxtricity. Both forms of it. Oh. Yeah, this one did. Wait, watch. Watch out when I, when I kneel. It, it headbangs alongside me. Uh, oh, and we're back. I think this is... Yep. This is where we just left off. Cool. Alright. And I think that's, uh, that's just about everything. So uh, I can get rid of all this shit now. Not that one. Keep that one. If you missed my Legends Arceus streams back earlier this year, I did this like every time I would play that game because I was like, oh, I did all this off stream. Uh, where was that other clip of me climbing the tower? That was... Closer to here, right? Yeah. I'm gonna keep that one. Like how it's like, what's up? Yeah. There we go. Alright, and we're back. Hey, new kid. Oh, look, what I know what's up around here. Let me take a look at your Pokemon for you. So I think these characters... These, these are all gonna be, like, very weak. Because I already spent so much time... Training out west. Yeah, level 11. And I'm level 20-something. Oh, I could turn up the volume a bit. Really should scale. Yes, it should. Okay, that was legit hilarious. Check out these words of wisdom. Those big Pokemon Center signs make great landmarks. Makes you less likely to end up lost. Palmy. It doesn't look like anything new. Knackle I already have. Or Knackly. Napples, 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 Napples. Oh, there's stuff down here. To Artisan via shortcut. Oh, there's another one. Another one of those spikes. So yeah, I got a Mac map. Mac, why, why, I was about to say Mac for some reason. I got a map. Um, it kind of details the best route to take in terms of level scaling. But uh, I don't know what I'm going to do regarding it. Hoping to reach Artisan? Try climbing a couple ladders. We don't have Shinx yet. It's funny because Shinx is one of the first Pokemon you get in, in Legends Arceus. What I do, I'm gonna hurt that thing too much. Really need to find false swipe. Why'd I pick that? Why'd I do that? That was dumb of me. 
Yeah, some Pokemon have been really rough to catch. They just don't stay in the fucking ball. Isn't that in Scyther naturally? Oh, maybe. Quick ball. I wish. I can't buy them yet. And even so, money is definitely nowhere near as common in this game as it is in the other games. Uh, you definitely have to rely on selling stuff. All these Pokemon are too strong. Wait, no. Heck might might be good enough. Got Thunder Wave or anything? I had Nuzzle, but I got rid of it for Spark. Which was really stupid to me. Damn it, that was still too strong. Lego's apparently really, really good, yeah. It hits like a truck. I got a lot of Ultra Balls. Let's just try one off the bat here. Shinx aren't super hard to catch. Best bird Pokemon in the general in this game? I don't know. Good question. The extension and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when in trouble. I'm up to about 100 Pokemon. A little less. There's a Spoink over there. What's that? That's oh, a Rookie D. Yeah, the level, the size scaling is great, but it's like... I, you, I can't tell you how many times I've run into Pokemon that I just don't see because they're so tiny. Water Pulse. That's a good move. To Artisan via River Path. Spike will die if it stops bouncing. The pearl on its head amplifies its psychic powers. I don't know when I saw Squawkabilly, but I really want one. But it's only on, like, the west side of the world map, apparently. To Artisan. Main route this way. There's a Hariyama. How high level could this possibly be? 25. That's not too bad. Ah! You fool, you made contact with me! Do it again. Hard to beat the fire burb. I do agree. I do I do like it a lot. I if I could I don't have dusk balls actually. Might as well just use one. Desert ran quick when he met up with a level 47 Vespi Queen. Yeah, well I, the one I found before was like level 20 something and I wasn't ready for it. Headbutt? I might be taking crit. I'm, I think I might be redoing my team tonight, actually. Uh, honestly, Covet's not that great, because I'm really fighting enemies with, with items.
loves challenging others to tests of strength. It has the power to stop a train with a slap. I never used Hariyama, but I always liked its, I've always liked its design. Maybe I will use it at some point. He was almost swept, yeah. Like I said, there was a Sligu, like level 30, with, with that with, that had the poison terror type, and it, it destroyed my party. No exit. Retrace your steps. Oh, there's some... Hmm, okay. There's some... BHJs. There we go. Where do I go? Okay, so the ladder at the lighthouse was automatic. The rest of the ladders I've come across, you do have to manually climb them. I don't know, I kind of want a, a Sizor on the team, Caesar on the team at some point. I have no idea where I ended up here. Uh... Wait, is that home? Is, is that the academy over there? I can't tell because of the way my the character's positioned. Problem is, the game doesn't indicate where caves and, like, bridges are. So you can't really see them on the map. Like, if I didn't tell you that there was a cave system right here that leads all the way over here, would you would you believe me? Because there's no indication that there is. But that's where that stake was that I pulled out. Alright. Let me go back in the beginning and regroup here. Like I say, the game has caves at least, yeah. Yeah, and they don't have load loading zones either. You just walk in there, and uh, and the cave like appears. There's no like transition. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think it. Cause if I if I keep putting it off, then I'm gonna get too far with the same party, and I'm gonna be like, well, now I don't want to change it. Alright, let me make box 7 my team box. Uh, what do we want to do here? Leave cro we're, we're leaving the starter in, of course. False swipe. Yeah, Fury Cutter is the 1HP. No, it's false swipe. Uh, does Scyther actually know it? No. I could see if someone knows it, but even if they don't... F for false swipe. No one knows it. Oh, the current party is now an option up here. That's good. Alright. We got birds. Let's use birds. See, my only problem is I've, I've used at least one bird from, like, every gen that shows up here, so it's like, do I really want to use it? But honestly, an all-bird team in this game is very, very viable. Absolutely, you could do that. And still have your type coverages uh, pretty well handled. Uh, let's see. 
Another bird can we put in? Well, I already have flesh in there, so no. Guess we could put Rookie D in. These two I'll eventually switch out because I've already used these two. I've already used both these Pokemon. Scyther does learn it at level 8. Oh. Mm hmm. Well, I was. I, I forgot any of my fin is in Jotaro. Um. I have Murkrow. Problem is, everyone's flying type. Even, even Flamigo. So it's like. Ugh. Alright, let me put, um, let me put Scyther back in there. Cool, good job me. Such Pokemon info right now, it's hard, rough to keep up, yeah. Uh, how do I change moves? Here we go. There it is, I'll swipe. Uh, we'll get rid of Leer. We don't need that. Oh, it actually wants to get rid of Double Hit. You know what? Probably for the best. Double Hit's not that great either. Alright, well, we got False Swipe now. And Scyther's pretty high level too, so... We'll keep the team like this for now. Double Hit is good with Technician, yes. Technician now, I, I, it, I don't know if it was in previous gens, but it raises uh, the power of multi-hit moves by half. And there's an item that, like... Uh, okay. thought the game might have been crashing on me there. There's an ability, there's an item that extends the, the ability for uh, moves like that to hit. the stake out. Hey, Evie, how's this game? I'm not getting this game till Christmas, but I don't know your opinion of it. I'm enjoying it. It's it's definitely janky if you just saw that uh that load that took like five seconds um, and everything just froze, but it's pretty good. Not hit multi is oh moves with 60 power or less. Tactician was one of the major reasons you cite there competitively. Oh. Move relearn was made free in Gen 8, yeah. Well, to be fair, this is less the Gen this is less the Gen 8 style and more the Legends Arceus style with how moves work now, where you could just get them banked. Did my first pull in a new banner in Dissidia and got something that only has a 0.5% chance of showing up. Nice. I I've been doing that with the uh, Splatoon, and I'm only missing the 0.1% chance prize at this point. Oh wait a minute, what's over here? More coins. Aerial Ace becomes 135 power move for Scyther, yeah. Think I may be trapped. Blah. Yeah, same type attack bonus. Which terrestrializing is pretty much the primary use for. What is that? What is that floating on the left? Why did my headphones become tangled? How does this keep happening? I don't move. There's no reason my headphones should be like this. This music sounds like, um... I don't know, to, I don't know what to put... It's a, it's, it sounds like a song from Dragon Ball Z. Th that plays like during, uh... Like, calm moments. I actually think it's a remix of Chala Hedchala that I'm thinking of. Undertale. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm stuck here. I respawned on the gate. <laughs> Alright. And that's why this game gives you quick travel immediately. Scream out of the water and climb back up on top of the gate, yeah. Everything's Undertale now. Well, I mean... 
I do believe Toby Fox did do the main, like, overworld theme, and the remixes were just handled by the other composers. So this is a song of his, and it, it's a composition of his. That is... okay. PP up, that's new. Feeling lost? Climb up for a better view. You know the artisan gym? You know Gungaga? You've been to the artisan gym? I sure have. Apparently the artisan gym is actually the weakest one. The gym I did was probably this is the second weakest. Miguel the student. Power trip? User boasts strength and attacks the target. The, moves, the more user stats are boasted, the greater this moves power. Oh yeah, I used to use it, use this a bit. Because it's like 20 per stat boost. Yeah, because Home Claws goes well with it. Actually, this Rookie D does not have any good moves that I could use immediately. I should probably switch out. Please watch roll. Pluck is more damaging, because it's, uh, fighting type. It is not water type. went through it to the artisan gym is struck again. I don't know why I gave him that voice. Gym leader Brassius absolutely wiped the floor with me. You're very weak. Stop having only one Pokemon. On. Oh, there's a chugging. We chugged? We're chugging. Is this still the same ladder I climbed up earlier? Shit. Yes, I have heard of both about both of those things. Here's what I'm going to say about the Disney thing. Um, yeah, the guy in charge was doing an awful job. Like, just dog shit. Um, everyone's happy to see him go. No one likes him. He's a piece of shit. Uh, we'll have to, you know... I'm, I'm not a big Disney guy. I'm not really, like... I don't have a stake in Disney or anything. But we'll see if... Uh, if, uh, if Bob Iger... At least slightly unfucks things. Because uh, they're pretty fucked right now. Uh, once again, I'm lost. How does this happen? Shapek was actually in, park of, in charge of the parks before he was made CP, C, uh, CEO. Oh, well that explains a lot. Hmm. I'm going to fly back again, because somehow I got stuck a second time. 
Also, my destination was there and it never got removed. I will say something this game needs that, you know, Sonic and, and, and Zelda have both done. We need visible waypoints on the map. Just marking it and, not, and then having them not be visible is not good enough. You actually own two shares of Disney stock. Oh, wow. Well, we'll see how things turn out. I mean, it's, you know... I know... I, I don't really know much about Bob Iger's uh, reputation at the company. But uh, apparently people are very, very happy that he's back in. No sign changes in weather? Yes, it's rained a few times here. Oh, there's another uh, cadet thing. Uh, was it Char Cadet? That's it. Not good. Oh, wait. Oh, it's sight there. I don't know if I should bother. I thought these things were going to be like one per file, but apparently not. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, you actually get two of the legendary as well, just like in uh, Gen 7. Just so you could trade for the other one. Which makes the whole point of me ordering the double pack, uh... Kind of, uh... Kind of moot. And again, I bought this game three times because the double pack did not arrive on Friday. And I'm like, well, I want the fucking game today. I took off work to play it. So I ended up buying it digitally. So now, uh, now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because what I was gonna do was I was gonna give away the, uh, the extra copy to begin with. So that's nothing new, but now it's two extra copies. Though I think what I might do is I may, I may keep Violet, I'm not sure. I always had, like, a rule about Pokemon being, like, the series that I never go digital for unless I absolutely have to. But I don't know, thinking about it, it's like, why? W why, why do I have that rule? What's the point of it? Oh my god, these headphones, they got, like... I don't know, what, what the fuck happened here? There we go. Jesus. So... For context, Iger was a previous CEO, and yeah, previous gone record of admitting his appointment with Chapek as a successor was to be the worst decision of his career. Well, he's back to fix it. <laughs> also, yes, if you catch the same Pokemon more than once, it only shakes twice in battle, even if it's not a critical capture. I got a potion. Somehow. Burnt Charcoal came to life and became a Pokemon. Possessing a fiery spirit, Charcoal Charcadet will battle even tough opponents. Is that what it was before? Or did I not read it before? Revive. There's a Stantler down there. I wonder if that means Weird Ears in this game. That looks like I can't climb that right now. Probably too tall. Krogunk. 
Poor Rookie D. I need, I need to level this thing up quickly. <laughs> Get some good moves. So, uh, Walking Dead ended tonight after 12 years. Can't wait for the spinoff, Beat the Walking Dead Horse. Ho ho ho, I've, I've said that joke so many times over the last, like, six or seven years. Oh no! It's too powerful! Damn it, Flamigo. Stop being strong. Yeah, they stopped walking. I'm... I'm not even joking. In the finale, so here's here's the here's here's my I mentioned this on Twitter. Here's my confession, and I've mentioned this a bunch of times. I, I watched the entire show, up to the ending. I enjoyed it. To me, it was kind of like junk food TV. Uh, let's get rid of Lear. To me, it was junk food TV. Like it it was best when I just watched it, enjoyed it, didn't think about it. The most I would do is discuss it with mom because I watch it with her. But that's it. Uh, this last season was actually pretty good by the show standards. It ended. It's over. It has a good ending. There's gonna be like three spin-off shows that are that's coming out that are like sequels, which I just like I don't even want to think about. I might watch them. I might end up watching them just because it's something to watch on Sunday night, but uh, but yeah. It was a good ending. It, it was a good ending. It was bittersweet and sad, as as everything in that show is. Um, but I enjoyed it. And there's not really a ton else I could say about it. Should mention when you visit, we could have gone to some of the filming locations. To be fair, we could have gone to filming locations for any number of movies while I was there. Georgia is, uh, quite dirt cheap to film in. I mean, the highway we, we took to get into Atlanta, wasn't that, um, the same highway from, like, that iconic, like, season one shot? Or am I, or am I wrong? I don't know. I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. Sure, I think the Walking Dead sets are a lot easier to get into Pinewood Studios or Marvel Films. Oh, to get into than Pinewood Studios. Yeah. This Pokemon apparently used to live in much harsher environments and thus it had stronger psychic powers than it does now. I think Stantler's a normal type, but they keep- they always talk about its psychic powers. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, there's no... ...space for its evolution, so I guess Weird Deer's not in the game. Which makes sense, because it's- Weird Deer's a, uh... ...a Hisuian Pokémon, so it's not, it's not around anymore. Yeah, you're sure we drove along that road? <laughs> I think I even mentioned it at the time. Or maybe I took a photo of it. I don't know. I don't know if I sent that to my mom. Because I think I wanted to when we were on the road and I must have just forgot. To be honest, that that tr that ride we had over to the convention center, uh, I did not feel good during that ride. I don't know why. I think I felt like a cross between like a stomach ache and a fever. Took a picture of William Street, yeah. I made a joke about that's where they store Justin Roiland. What we got here? Rookie D with flying type terror type? Why? I why? No. Get out of there. That's not an unusual terror type. Because it's because Rookie D already has flying. Wait. 
blew up. Okay, am I heading north? It's it's really hard to tell because my icon isn't lined up properly. I might have to redo the photo for that. That is a, uh, a Jigglypuff. See, this is what I meant by the, the sizes kind of get in the way. Because, like, I did not know... I didn't realize there was a Rookie D standing right there. Rookie D Luffy. It's a good name for one. Shit. Oh, this is the one from the trailer. What terror type is this one? Water? Yeah, it's water. Jigglypuff with water. This might just take it out in one go. Nope. It is possible to faint these things in one hit, I think, unfortunately. Kind of defeats the purpose of, of having to break their Terra Crystal first. See, that's that's always the the rub with them. They'll always come with a move that's already the type of the uh, rare terror type. Yo, bitch, stop it! I forget what I named my Corviknight in Sword and Shield. Corviknight was one of my main Pokemon in that game. Got a Jigglypuff, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, you get LP for beating those, too. Okay. Yeah, I still have the sniffles. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm still sp able to spread COVID, though, because now it's been well over 10 days since I got sick, and I'm not really, like, sick sick anymore. I just have sniffles constantly, so I don't know what's happening, but this Thursday I'm going, I'm going to my relative's house for Thanksgiving, so hopefully it's, it's all good by then. I mean, it's definitely going to be good by next week. We know, we know that, so it should be fine. Which, by the way, I should probably go over the uh, schedule for the next couple di couple weeks. Because, to be honest, once this week is over, streams are going to be super limited for, I think, at least two weeks, if not more. It's going to be like back when I went on those two trips. Pick that up, please. Uh, in, in April and May. Except more condensed. Oh, look, another Char Cadet. Shark it. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. I think I know what that sound is. Oh, that's the sound of healing up at a Pokemon Center. Alicia the Musician. People pointing out how the women in this game are all very tall and, and broad shoulder and well built. And I agree, it is, it is great character design. I better go ask for another round of dun 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 dun. Maybe I ought to buy some potions while I'm at the Pokemon Center.
Oops. No, there's no sparkle there. Huh. Wait a second. Is that... Yes. Okay, we can cheese it. I cannot wait to see the speedrun tech that abuses that move. Oh, I could've just gone around. Let's show each other what we've got. Here, I'll show you my Pokémon first. And Makuhita's like, I'm gonna punch the shit out of both of you! Are now the Pokémaniac. Haven't I been streaming for 90 minutes? Damn. God damn. Why am I still using Carmen? She's already leveled up enough. I gotta switch out. I got shown more than I bargained for. Pokemon you see in battle get registered to your Pokedex app, so I try to battle a lot. Hey, Michael. So from what I could gather, the Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had a look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way I up on a cliff or something? Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky, so don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search for it out to somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look if you're feeling stumped. It's pretty handy. You got the 0.5% thing again? Nice. I got a 0.6% draw in, in uh, Splatoon 3 two days in a row a while back. But like I said, I still haven't rolled the 0.1% uh, bonus yet, and that that's coming to an end soon. Once December starts, I'm gonna be uh, it's gonna be a new set of rewards. Litleo Tuft. Oh, Litleo, I don't have that yet. That must be somewhere around here. Oh, this is where I just jumped down to. Uh, Pokemon Libra. This guy's all over the place. He's in front of the towers occasionally, too. For once you defeat six trainers, you'll get a prize. It's already two in the morning, Jesus. I ducked by accident. I always you put the Pokemon in capture order, but now it's like I don't know what order I capture them in. Anyway, Rookie D needs to stay in the front, because it needs the experience. Let's buy three Pokeballs. God, it, the, the, you, don't, you do not get money very quickly in this game. <laughs> I should sell some of the Poké Dolls, because I keep picking those up. Alright, so let's see. Treasures. I got 1,000 worth of mushrooms. I got a Stardust. It's 1,500. I got a Honey, which is 225. Where are Poké Dolls? There they are. I never use them, so I might as well just sell them. I wish berries were worth more. Look how many of these I've picked up. Rare candies are worth a lot, too, and I've been finding those pretty decently. But at the same time, I don't want to give up items used. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know if I did this on stream, but I found a mint. I found a careful mint, which lets you just change a Pokemon's nature to careful. Really good.
Give them items. Uh, what can they hold? I have Everstone, Hardstone, and Big Root. Uh, well, none of those are really helpful for any of the Pokemon I have with me. Where am I? Oh my god, look how much more of this there is. I think I better just make a beeline for, for these and just explore later. I mean, that's the thing, though. I'm not going to have time. I'm not going to have time to play this off stream for the next couple days. Ooh, oof. Like, I definitely don't have enough time to search all of that and do all the, all the stuff I want to do tonight before I finish. Witnesses claim they've seen a giant stone moving on its own in Area 3 of the South Province, and the stone has a big swiveling eye stalks? Perhaps it's a titan camouflaging itself to catch prey. Artisan also looks really big. Battle me, for I am mighty. Oh, okay. I'm very curious to see what this guy has. Probably not well ready for this fight, but I'll try anyway. Battle me, for I've given my Pokemon a mighty item to hold, and I am mighty. That rookie D is just like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Severino the office worker. He's not that strong, he's level 17. I have nothing that's super effective, so let's just pull out, uh... Whoa, he's- I just realized! That's high- he, th she's higher level than my- than my, uh, Crocolore. That doesn't often happen, where my starter gets out-leveled. Yes, I hear you, Gimme Gold. You could stop making that noise. Stockpile's an interesting strategy, just because, essentially, you could just build your whole moveset around it. Yeah, it's spit up. So if you haven't used Stockpile before, the way it works is that when you Stockpile, you get a Stockpile counter. It also raises your defense and special defense by one level, and I think you could Stockpile up to four or five? And then there are two moves you could do with that. Uh, spit Up, which essentially ejects the stockpile points as an attack. Or you could do Swallow, which recovers your HP by the amount of points you've stockpiled. Um, but the downside is that when you use that, any buffs you received from the stockpiles goes away. So any defense and uh, special defense up you had uh, from the stockpile numbers, that amount will go down by that many levels. My, might and my items meant nothing in the face of a mighty trainer like you. 
I gave one of my Pokemon some leftovers to hold so it would recover HP bit by bit. You can spot mighty trainers like me by how we speak. Our strength colors everything we say. Ah, so that guy with the level 50 Pokemon in front of the Pokemon League is just there as like a gimmick, not as like an actual show of power. Ooh, nugget. Mud slap. One chicken nugget. <laughs> Oh, there's Lit Leo. Is that a little chunk? Why is that here? It's not the boot nugget. I can get away. <sighs> Heal powder. Yuck. Never use those. Is that a male or a female? Tell me, it's female! That one's looking at the cooler main. <laughs> so yeah, I should probably uh, go over the stream schedule for the next couple weeks. Because uh, it's limited. Those streams do be limited, though. Uh, this week, after tonight, you could probably expect to stream Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm hoping that I can stream all three days. I'm going to be in the mood to play this, so... If... There's a chance that what I might do is I might just take one night to explore, and if I do, I may not stream it, but... Again, we'll see, because I'm not super into just three hours of me wandering around on stream. We'll see, we'll see what we'll see what things are like. I, I may take one night to do that, but otherwise we could probably expect at least one or two streams. Uh, Thursday's Thanksgiving. I will not be home during it, so there will be no stream on Thanksgiving. Ooh, croc uh, croc 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 Drillo, uh wants to learn Snarl. <laughs> Special attack is higher. Uh, probably time to ditch Ember, finally. When Litleo are young, female Pyro will teach them how to hunt. Once the Litleo mature, they will leave the pride and set out on their own. See, so yeah, I won't be here Thanksgiving. Um, definitely won't be, because I'm like, going to be coming back late, probably. Uh... Friday, Black Friday. I, I have to go to work. I have to work Friday, so nothing unusual that day. You could probably expect a stream in the evening. Next weekend, I don't know what's going to happen regarding streams. Um, Saturday is, might be a no Saturday. I mean, on Saturdays, I don't usually stream anyway, but I think I could probably guarantee I will not be able to stream next Saturday because usually the Saturday after Thanksgiving is when we put up our Christmas decorations and... I'm not going to want to do that and then stream afterwards. I'm going to be too tired. Christmas decorating my house is a fucking ordeal. It always is, and I'm just tired by the end of it. Cloth. Ooh, it makes crunchy noises. I like that. Move. Okay, that's not good. Let's 
So yeah, Saturday's probably a no-go for streams. Um, the f the it's a cow. Oh yeah, it kind of does make a moo, doesn't it? Ha, I'm fire type. That doesn't affect me. Oh wait, no. That would affect me, wouldn't it? Why don't I have a? Yeah, no, I did nothing. I'm guessing this thing is rock type. There we go. Anger shell. Long cloth's attack rose. Excuse. Oh, excuse me. Is it raising all the stats? I'll look into more how that, how that works. Look how quickly it gets the EXP. Cloth hangs upside down from cliffs, waiting for prey, but Cloth can't remain in this position for long because the blood rushes to its head. Oh, which is just rock type. Anger Shell. When an attack causes its HP to drop to half or less, the Pokemon gets angry. This lowers its defense and special defense stats, but boosts its attack, special attack, and speed stats. That's pretty good. So essentially, it's Berserk Mode. Has good endurance. No evolution for it. How do they justify eating this thing? I, I don't know. Probably got soft meat on the inside. Ooh, a hasty mint. Nice. Speed up defense down. Wonder who I could give that to. Gonna scare him so bad. Suddenly from the bushes. Boo! Ha! Bet you never saw that coming. Got two Pokemon. Should probably just switch to Crocolore. So yeah, um... Essentially... This upcoming week, expect like three, three or four streams. The following two weeks, though, are going to be very limited. Um, after Thanksgiving, the week after Thanksgiving, and the week following that. Uh, the week following Thanksgiving, Sunday. I'm considering that having having that be the stream I discussed the other day, the the inflatable stream. Uh, but I'm not sure just yet. Uh, and s Monday and Tuesday will be the only other two days I can stream. Uh, Wednesday night, Nessie's coming over, going to bed early, and we're going to be getting a flight early next morning to go to Chicago. We're going to be in Chicago until Monday, so no streams from Thursday of that week until, well, Wednesday of that week, till the following Monday. I'm not going to be streaming that Monday when I come home. Um, then, Wednesday of that week, I have to go to bed early, because Thursday, uh, is my oral surgery, and that's gonna knock me out for pretty much the entire weekend, apparently. So the only day, the week after next week, two weeks from now, I'll be able to stream is Tuesday, but I'm, I'm gonna be off Tuesday, so I might do, like, a long stream on Tuesday, to kind of make up for the fact that I will not be able to stream the rest of the week. I don't know, though. We'll see how fast my mouth heals. If it heals before the weekend's over, I might do a weekend stream. 
I lost. I didn't see that coming at all. Maybe something good will happen if I sneak up on a Pokemon that doesn't see me coming. I'm flying back to that Pokemon Center real quick. Just running back here. The Watch Stream? Weren't you here when I was talking about it on Friday evening? Or maybe you, maybe you had stepped away at that point. I can't remember. Yeah, the inflatable stream. Uh, six trainers, perfect. What, is, what am I getting? Shell Bell. Took a break to play something. Oh, right. I think you told me that, too. I like how this auto sorts. Uh, give this to... I guess give it to Rookie D for now. I don't like Pokemon that I bench having items on hand, though. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing, and I've mentioned this, I mentioned this on Friday, like, when I came back with the, uh, with the, uh, T towards the end of the stream. Uh, I recently got a pool toy that I have been, that I ordered almost two years ago. I've only shown it all, I've only shown an image of it on stream once, so it's not something that comes up often. Um, and as I mentioned, I got a new webcam. I've got, uh, a couple tools to blow the pool toy up. So I was thinking, I'll just do a stream where I'm like, shooting the shit with people, and uh, I blow up the pool toy on stream. Good, clean fun for the whole family, except probably not. I mean, the, the visual contents of the stream will be good, clean fun. The discussion will be whatever the fuck people bring up, so, you know, I'm an R18 stream, so by, by nature... So that's not on me if someone if if we start talking like adult stuff. But yeah, that'll that that I was considering doing either next Sunday, or if not, then I have to uh, give it to how loud the pump is. Well, I'm gonna. It's pretty loud. I ha I got two, but one of them one of them is a hand pump. So it's also possible. What, what was the new thing I got here? Whatever. So I can always do it quietly as well. Because the thing is, if I do it, if I do it with the with the electric one, it's gonna blow up too quickly. The whole point of the stream is that it's gonna be like slow and enjoyable. Again, fun for the whole family, mostly. But yeah, if I can't do it this Sunday, then I'm kind of just not able to do it until like mid to late December. Like literally, I think because because New Year's New Year's and Christmas are both on the weekend this year, and the week I come back from my vacation. I'm getting the surgery done, so that really only leaves one possible weekend in December to do this. So if I don't do it this weekend, or I don't do it in December, then it has to wait until January, because otherwise I'm just not going to be—I just don't have the availability to do it. But I do want to do it again. I was—I I, the other day I said I was going to call it the inflation stream, just to just just for the shock value. Because I know it would turn heads, and people would be like, what the fuck is happening here? But, uh, I, I think if I just said the inflatable stream, it maybe go over a little better. But, I mean, fuck if I know. Max Ether. I got an elixir and a full restore from, like, other random item drops. I, I, I want to see if I could do it next Sunday. I might. I don't know. Grab it. Grab it. Okay, why are you just over here? Why you do? Why you do? that jumping thing. 
the Paldean jumping bug. Growlithe. Again, apparently the um, the Hisuian forms are in the game in terms of data. They're just not in the Pokedex, and there's no way to obtain them uh, in game right now. I think they'll be transfer over only. Like Weird Deer is in the game is in the game's data, but you can't evolve Stantler into it in this uh, in this for in this in this action like in game. Attacks for uproar for three turns during the time no Pokemon can fall asleep. Uh, its special attack is higher, so might want to consider getting rid of. Uh, I guess Spark. I already have Thunder Shock. Well, Thunder Shock's lower powered though. I don't see. I, that's the problem. I I don't know what the difference between like 65 physical power with 25 attack and 40 power with 33 attack. Like how that works out. It's not an, it's not a flat add-on. Well, let's get rid of a uh, get rid of Thunder Shock. Scyther's becoming an MV MVP here. It has a brave and trustworthy nature. It fearlessly stands up to bigger and stronger foes, the puppy Pokémon. Heckin' good doggo. Two artisans. The signs. Follow them. Uh, tad bulb with ghost type. Terra of type. Nah, not worth it. What's that lighting right there? Ooh, five coins. There's like an item nestled right there. What is the what is happening with the lighting right now? Lighting does what it wants, yeah. I need, a new, I need a model for my new work. I think my next work shall be a portrait of you, collapsed in defeat. Irene the artist. Gorgeous Irene. Artist, all right, yeah. Again, Rookie D's getting kind of screwed here. None of these Pokemon are like good types. Actually, none of my moves are super effective against this thing.
So yeah, that's just a general overview of the stream plans. Uh, I don't know. I, I've been kind of feeling Flamigo payback. We'll use movie moves move, move after the target. Hmm. I guess I don't need Peck anymore. Battle art, both are fiendishly tough pursuits. I mean, I'm kind of falling back in that mindset. Uh, I still need to find a model for my next piece, preferably someone I could beat. I'm still kind of falling into that mindset of like, well, I'm just streaming for the hell of it now. I'm just doing it because I want to play games. Because, uh, I don't know. It, it, you know. Despite everything, my streams haven't really gone anywhere. And I'm not going to sit here, I'm not going to like sit here and cry about it. But it's definitely getting to the point where I'm feeling like, what's the point of even making schedules or talking about it? It's it's all the same. Got a Pokemon with a bunch of different types, so we could all have a well-balanced battle. Lyra the student. Because, like, I kept asking myself, like, why, why am I not a more successful Twitch streamer? And the truth is, there are so many reasons, there are so many answers to that question, and I don't know if I'm capable of overcoming any of them. So I think maybe it's best to just kind of give up and just, you know, stream for the hell of it. that I'm not already doing that. Like, that's the thing. Like, people assume that when I say that, that I'm not enjoying streaming. I'm enjoying it. I like playing video games, obviously, and I like having friends come by and watch me play video games, and I'm appreciative of everyone who's here. But I always feel like there's just something, like, in the back of my mind where I'm just like, well, yeah, but you've been at this for six and a half years almost, and, uh, you don't really, you haven't really grown as a, as a, anyone, as an anyone. Uh, I haven't really, rock moves, not really, no. Essentially, I, okay, it's, it's, the best way to put it is, I'm having fun with, with me and my friends. But as a performer, I feel like I'm failing. Which is what you are if you're a streamer. You're technically a performer. And I'm also a voice actor, but that's a whole other can of worms that I don't want to get into. Because I like read a whole thing this weekend about like, oh, you're just not marketing yourself enough. And I'm just thinking like, well, how the fuck do I market myself? I'm not good at this. I don't know. I again. I, I've been. I've. I've talked about this before. I don't want to get into too much detail about it and, and drag the stream down. But I don't know. That's kind of why I want to do this. This pool toy stream because I feel like if I approach it the right way, maybe maybe someone will notice. I don't know. Fuck. Ugh, now I'm off balance. Having different types of Pokemon with you should help you handle different situations. You can't do invisible Tetris also don't stress about beating TGM2 because the play is still fun. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like that with a lot of things as well. Go to the way the science point. Two Artisan. They really want you to not get lost trying to find this Artisan place.
Making the rounds, round and round. I'm making the rounds, which means I'm on the job, but I'm out and about. Adrian. Adrian. I have nothing to cover fire types in my party right now. No, I have no ground moves. Again, like, I'm hesitant to even, like, pull out a TM right now because I don't know what my final team's gonna be. Killed off Bud Slap. Uh, well, the Pokemon that had it is not in the party anymore. My surroundings are spinning round and round. Uh, nice to get to be outside while I'm at work. Yeah, what are you doing anyway? What is your job? There's a Murkrow. I don't want to bother fighting those things. Alright, I hate to do this again, but I'm going to warp back here and then run back up. Be back to TMs, or are they still TRs this, this time around? Yeah, they're just TMs, but they're craftable. They're not unlimited use, but they're craftable. I liked the TMTR system in uh, Sword and Shield just because the TRs were like, weren't hard to get, but they were still dispensable. Whenever you pick up a TM in this game, you get the recipe for it, so you're able to then uh, make it. And as you can see, there are a ton of them. Normally there's 50 to 100, in this game there's at least 151 TMs. You need league points and, and uh, materials to make it. Like, I can make Protect, but I can't make Fire Fang right now. That said, you pick up TMs very often on the ground. Anytime you see a yellow Pokeball glowing on the ground, it's going to be a TM. Like the TMs better. Well, I mean, here's the, well, here's the thing. Sword and Shield had TMs. They had the 100 TMs that were unlimited use, and then you could get the TRs, which were limited use, and they were like records, as opposed to uh, that. Like that's how they marketed them. They were like LPs instead of uh, CDs. See, that's a TM right there. Got a yellow glow. Fling. And yeah, you see that list of TM things in the corner. That just means that, uh, I can now make it. I already fought you, right? Yep. And then up here was the office worker? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... If I go up, I'm in the field... If I can even go up there, I think that might be- I think that might be higher up, actually. I don't think there's a way up from here. Oh yeah, I might be on the completely wrong path, honestly. But there's a sign right here. Finn lost comment for a better view. Okay. LPs. Yeah, long play vinyls. Old 45s. I have... What are, the, what are the records I have in my room? Those are... Those are 33s? The lower the number of the... Of a, of a vinyl, the, the... The bigger it is, right? I'm actually not too well versed on it. Oh, look, another Char Cadet. There's the Dig TM. No exit here. Follow the signs to Artisan. I 
and wants to climb the ladders ahead. So happy you know Mozart record, nice. We have a lot of uh, old records in my uh, in, in a room downstairs, but in terms of records I own, I own the uh, Mother One soundtrack and I own the Mega Man Legends soundtrack on vinyl. Like really nice decorative uh, designed vinyl too. So I have no idea why they came back into fashion. Just retro. Those are on vinyl. Yep. Uh, Ship to Shore Co. makes them. Whoa, what just happened there? Do you see that, like, freeze for, like, a minute? Gentleman. Gentleman? Then Lost, find the ladders up ahead and climb, climb, climb. Game's chugging. I, I'm gonna save just to be safe. Just like cassettes, yeah. We, we really don't want a repeat of After Alterna. That will make me shut this fucking game off and, and give up on it entirely. So I can't access the ladders at all if I'm on the... Holy hell. With the save corruption in X and Y? Yes, I thankfully I did not do that. I think I was not in Lumios before they found that out. <laughs> or actually, it didn't matter. As long as you didn't save on the streets in Lumios, you were fine. The issue was, I think you were spawned... Like, when you restarted your game while you were there, you spawned in... Uh, under the floor, technically. Or you, like, not even under the floor, like, you were just, like, a few pixels under where the floor is. And because of that, you couldn't move. Oh, wait, am I crossing over into the other spot? Yeah, I am. There was a path here. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure it didn't look like that in the map. Maybe it's because I climbed the ladder, I don't know. Fuck. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, okay. Rip all the people that were surprised it happened. Yeah. To be fair, though, at least it was recoverable. <laughs> Ultra Ball. Gimme Ghoul. Double Ghoul. See, that looks way closer than it actually is. That Pokemon Center right there. Treasure Hunt is so much fun. I'm doing the Treasure Hunt too. I know Fresh Face Kid's gonna beat me. Christina. Again, it's cool that, like, it's cool that they, they have the academy be open to people of all ages, but, like, if older people can, can enroll and become trainers, how come I can't make my character an older person? Less purple. Less purple. If that's how you battle, I'm sure you'll be able to find your treasure. No matter how old you get, having new life experiences is always a treasure. Do starters get a third form at level 32 like usual? Is that usually level 36? Because Pokemons are for kids. I'm not gonna lie, I would not give this game to a kid. I, I do not think they would grasp the, the concept of the open world here. There's a ton of items over here I didn't grab yet.
You survived it, yeah. Yeah, but remember, those games were very linear. Ooh, a rare bone. I saw a, uh, a theory last night about uh, who the knight could possibly be in Deltarune, and uh, it. M I didn't really, I didn't really listen to the whole theory. I just kind of drew. I, I kind of saw the basis for it, and then I thought of it myself, and I'm just like, oh, that can make a lot of sense. Uh, hold on. Oh. Story beat first. Cloth, the stony cliff titan. Crocolore can no longer escape, okay. Why does it have to do it five times? Died because of the Rocky Helmet. Yeah, by the way, it's not over. I think each one of these you have to chase multiple times. Can't ride Karide on here. Excuse you. It's right there. Oh. Cloth Titan began eating something. Oh shit. Michael, you found it. And that's the that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No cloth has got any business being that big. It's gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs. Let's watch ourselves, Michael. I think there is a cave behind it, yep. I, I can't target my partner. Why would he even give me that thing? Well, this is looking a little rough. Sheldon, let's serve up a helping of defeat on the half shell. It is stronger. Actually, that's perfect. I'd rather you do that than, uh, do, like, a hit that does no damage. Those Snarl's not gonna do much, because that's a, a special, I think. Why is that helmet hurting it so bad? Because it's just what the Rocky Helmet does. Just does contact damage. Also, the HP bar looks a lot bigger than it actually is. Seems like it's still kind of standard fare, Pokémon. Can we cook it now? Mm. No, it'll give me a reaction like the poke ball did on Friday. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are, yeesh! Shouldn't have something like uh, sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. I like your boots. I want those. 
I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Big enough to build a house in, too, so, yeah. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. So Arvin is the son of the Professor, but the Professor's different depending on the version. So I have to wonder if the two Professors are married. Because they, they weren't shown to be together in the in the trailers. But it's mentioned that he's um, Turo and, and Sada's child, depending on the version. Watch your step, it's pretty dark. Unga Bunga. Unga Bunga and Future Man. No way. Is the Violet Professor a lady? No, it's uh, it's it's a guy. It's Professor T uh, Tulo, Tudo, Tudo, because it's like Futuro, Futuro. This is one of the Herba Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. You and Arvin found the sweet Herba Mystica. Yes, we actually found one, and it's all thanks to you, Michael. Now let's see, what does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health and that it helps aid digestion. It says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now if I could just get him to eat some. Alright, now it's my turn to show off what I could do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Yeah, here, yeah. here you go. An Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself using a replica of the gym badges. See? Sony Cliff Titan defeated. Path of Legends. So yeah, you actually get badges for the Starfall Street and the. Uh, Titan Pokemon. So there is there is actually 18 badges in this game. But the gym leader badges are the only ones you need for the uh, interview. That sounds illegal, yeah. He may be in a minute asshat, but I do admire his passion for this. I think he was just abrasive to come off. I think he's going to be okay from here on out. He seems to have a reason for doing this. Ugh, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of its ball on its own whenever it wants. His eyebrows are square. Hey now, no, that's not for you. Do you want to give your sandwich to Coridon? No, it's mine. Fine. Hungy. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you and you just give it away? I hope you realize that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. I can make my own sandwich. I, I don't need Subway. I can make my own fucking sandwich. More onion, please. I'm just making fun of Aaron now. Oh, come on. You're, ma you're making me feel like I'm the selfish jerk here. Here, you can have half of mine, but you'd better savor every last bite. Huh? You already ate that whole thing. Oh, is this how we unlock new abilities? Karina will be able to dash now. I knew it. Okay, so this, so the Titan Pokemon are how we make um, Karidon more more mobile. What? Is it me, or has this thing sort of powered up somehow? Well, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs really is worth guarding. They had that big of an effect on your Pokemon, then I bet. Uh, I bet it'll come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave this to me. Though I'd be much obliged if you get started searching on the next remaining four urban. Wow. Oh yeah, I changed up my appearance just slightly. I made my lips uh, red instead of blue. I was like, the blue lipstick's a bit much if the if there's no other blue parts on me. I really owe you. 
Okay, the coast is clear. You could come out now. Oh, does he have the other versions legendary? Is that what he meant by M? -M? He's talking about Maridon. Hello, Michael. This is Sada. I detect Coridon has regained some of its original power. Seems you'll now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. You can now have and dash by pressing in the left stick. Oh, I don't like that control. But watch out for trees when dashing at high speeds. If you strike a tree, Pokemon lurking up the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. I hope you continue to explore Paldea with Coridon, as you've done here. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your own path, using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. That was a belch right there. Uh, all that experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take care of Coridon for me. The thing is, you don't need any of Coridon's abilities to get most places in this game. You just have to uh, go like the long way around in some routes. Okay, so you can crash. What's that city that I'm looking at? It's hard to tell because my icon doesn't face the right direction. I'm looking up north. North, uh, east. That's probably... Lavincia? Yeah, that looks like it, because it looks like a port. Gotta be honest, the dash isn't that much faster, though. This doesn't feel that way. I actually can't go back in there. There's a ball on the ground, though. Artisan Gym Leader, Brassius, a.k.a. the Verdant Virtuoso. This Grass-type user and artist is a first stop for many fledgling trainers. His sculptures of Grass-type Pokémon are as famous as the way he chooses to appear before his challengers at his gym. Wait, Valencia, let's say hi, 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 hi. Let's say hi to Almond Silesia. Two artisan just over this hill. Isn't that it right there? Why do I have to go over the hill when I can just cross right through here? No exit. Follow where the signs point you. Two artisan right down this hill. Oh. You mean to tell me artisan was right next to the, the Titan Pokemon and no one thought to come in here and look at it? I see wind. I see wiener. Ah. Two artisan. It's not far past the grass. Oh, 
Hoping to recharge on. The signs are here for a reason. I love how sassy these signs are. Dunsparce. I already caught a Dunsparce with a special ability today, though. Well, for now... For now, let's battle. Rayen. Also, if you missed it, there is no set or switch option in this game. When doing in-game battles, it's always switch, and when doing multiplayer, it's set. Which kind of sucks. But I'm just... I'm just not using switch ever. I'm just hitting B to, to back out of it. Too many options would confuse the kids, I know. I lost for now. Got no idea what to do on my treasure hunt. And now I just gotta figure out the next step. I mean, look at your map, it's helped me out. I did run into Go-Goats on another route, but I didn't catch one. I think I also ran into a Flaffy on a route, and I, but I didn't engage it at all. Jump the hell off that thing. Come on. See, the problem is I'm still approaching this like a regular po like a regular Pokemon game where I'm like, oh, check every nook and cranny and get every item. But the truth is I really shouldn't be doing that. I should be treating this more like how I treated Breath of the Wild, where I was just like, okay, I'll go over here, and if I'm ever in the area again, I'll go over there and see if there's anything I missed. Artisan via shortcut. My voice changer thing isn't working. The mic isn't on. Like it's not. Oh, there's an audio. Con oh, you know why? Because my new um, my new thing, my new my new webcam, kind of fucked it up. Ah, okay. We're good. We're good. Continue. Ah, ah. All right. Now I think it's working.
Testing. One, two, three. Yep, that's working. There's a red ore choreo here. There it is! Baton pass. What, what do you use a baton pass on? Yeah, it stopped. The voice changer mic stopped working because my uh, because of the new webcam. Because the webcam has a microphone on it. Again, it's a very very nice webcam. I cannot wait to uh, actually use it. And now I have a second webcam for an alternate angle. Something that's really good about it is that, like most webcams, it can actually focus on shit. The webcam I was using couldn't do that at all. Like, if I held up my phone to it, it would just be like a white blur. But now with the new one, if I hold it up, it'll actually focus on the phone, and you can actually read what it says. Which is kind of a good litmus test to see if the, uh, the, the, the focus is working correctly. Pokemon's incredibly popular, possibly because it's passionate. Dancing is a great match with the temperament of the Paldean people. Bale style. Hell yeah. Content. Corvusquire. It said the reason behind Corvusquire's high level of intelligence is the large size of its brain relative to those of other bird Pokemon. <gasps> oh, I was waiting to find one of these. Splockabilly. It's blue, yeah. No, they come in different colors. Uh, bring on your brand. Yeah, there... One thing... That was the one thing I noted. That I like, I like remembered about all the leaks I saw about this game. There, there are a ton of bird Pokemon, new birds in it. I'm tormented. Shit. Okay, wait. We'll, we'll leer and then we'll torment, or then we'll false swipe. Slap base is amazing. I love it. What's this water and bug type? Let's try nest ball. Let's see if that'll work. I want to get a fun ball for this Pokemon. Wait. S 
Slash. Uh, Leer. The largest of their flocks could contain more than 50 individuals. They fly around towns and forests searching for food and making a racket. Parrot Pokemon, so they're like Chadot, but, uh, but cool. To be fair, I love Chadot's design. I have a little figure of Chadot in my room. This is not going to make sense to anyone. Uh, let's get rid of Fletchinder. I know, I know we want Fletchinder in the party, but I already have Fire type. Three Squawkabilly feathers. Good, now give us m more ice types to make them better in battle. Okay, thanks. Ooh, I got a stomach ache. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, Artisan. This will be the last uh, stop for tonight, unfortunately. I wanted to do a Team Star base as well, but I don't think that's going to happen tonight. Looks like I arrived early. Thanks for that. Oh, there, those are Pokemon. Those are the Cyclozar. Cyclozar. I want to ride in a Pokemon. Welcome. Welcome to Artisan, a town where the flowers are as bright and colorful as the artwork. Sun surrendering Sunflora. Surrendering Sunflora. A work by Brassius. Whoa. Crunchy? We're getting crunchy here. S Sunkern? I can't believe Sunkern turned into Sunflora when they evolve. Evolution's wild. The town of Art Heart, huh? Yeah. Oh, I want to read this. They're overriding my ability to read. I want to ride in a po- I love how the old man's like, I want to ride in a Pokemon too. Oh, you can't actually read those. You could glitch through them, but you can't read them. Came to see this famous piece. Can't say I really get it, but I like it. Fling. Blossoming Infinity, a work by an unknown artist. Can I, like, throw a Pokeball in there? This reminds me of that area in Alola, with all the bridges. East Province Area 1. Okay, so we're actually entering, like, New Province territory, because we were in South this entire time. Oh, that must be a Team Star base right down there. Look, it's that weird Tauros. There's a white squawk ability. This is in Spain. There's gotta be a Matador in there somewhere, probably.
Pokemon dislikes being alone. It has a strong sense of community and survives by cooperating with its allies. Bonus points have that mask of claw and a yodel here. There's a tandem mouse again. Something charming about windmills, isn't there? Ah, an academy kid. Hmm, yes. Highly conceptual, accentuated with contrasting modalities. Not that an amateur would pick up on all that. Meditative Seat, a work by an unknown artist. Looks like a bunch of rotted teeth to me. Three FPS windmills are quite charming. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I don't think that windmill is doing its job. I don't think it's going to be generating much power, moving, moving that slowly. I want to find a Pokemon. Yay, the air is so crisp. These, this, this flavor text all sounds like the same like a couple of things over and over again. I could use a rest. This is what they said to meet up, right? My boyfriend said that we meet up at the weird sculpture, but that hardly narrows it down. The Harvest, a work by Brassius. The Harvest. Yeah, that's a harvest, all right. Be it blue or otherwise. Let's take it slow, dear. Okay. Ice cream. Helado. Would you like some delicious, refreshing ice cream? So apparently... No, well, these are all the same. Apparently some of the stores do sell different things depending on where they are. Maybe I'll try it out. It looks tough. It's one of Artisan's famed attractions. Come and see if you can reach the center of Artisan's famous hedge maze. Oh look, there's like spots where it lights up probably. Oh, not another dead end. I'm so lost. Dead ass end. Just say that grass looks like it's a different color. It makes me think of uh, Paper Mario. There's a windmill here. Can't get out. Maybe that way? That's what you thought too. <laughs> Wanna ride in a Pokemon. Ugh. The Harvest. That's a yellow harvest. Poison Tail. Whoa! You actually found your way here. Nice. Almost no one ever makes it this far, so I decided to make it in my secret base. need secret power to do that. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Cheesed it. Ha! Ah, I am the king of the castle, baby! Alright. I've been over there already. Feeling worn out? Try stopping for a breather. You might notice things you didn't, didn't see before, baby. I don't know. I'm an old man. You fools! Time for plan B! I don't know why, but the last couple weeks I've watched like three different clips of people playing Mega Man 11, including myself. Just went back and like revisited. Oh, I see a... Uh, I see a stake over there. When the spring winds start to blow, sun couldn't come riding in on them. Funny looking. I think it looks uneasy, maybe? Oh, 
Nice breeze. Do your thing, wind. Yeah, same creeps. Delicioso. Go, go, go. This doesn't look any different from the other store. And I know because we were in like 10 of these the other day that all had the exact same menu. Sunflora. Oh, I'm at the other end of town now, aren't I? Check it out. Check out my psych Lazar. We're going on all sorts of journeys together. Mala, Lechonk, Venonat. What's that over there? Hold up. What is this thing? Spite Ops. Yeah, it's actually surprising how many of the new Pokemon I have not seen yet. I only know I well no oh no 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 don't don't attack. Don't don't do a physical move. Block, okay. Spite Ops, trap Pokemon. Clings to branches and ceilings using its threads and moves without a sound. It takes out its prey before the prey even notices it. What if you use a net, net ball? Yeah. Well, that's a single form Pokemon. Oh, it's the evolved form of the, of the, of the yarn thing. It's a BN virus, yeah. So Venonat hasn't been an original Dex in like... I don't know the last generation it was in. It was not, uh... Oh. Yeah, it wasn't in Gen 3. It was in Gen 4. Read Venomoth. I didn't actually hit it. can't find what other regional dex numbers Venonat was, but I know Venonat has not naturally been in a Pokedex in some time. Whoa! That glitchy-ass Tauros over here. What's up with you? Why are you black? Dark wasn't good on it, which means that it, this might be fighting.
goes down smooth. Nice. Like that camera angle. This Pokemon has a muscular body that excels at close quarters combat. It uses its short horns to strike the opponent's weak spots. Paldean Tauros. It is fighting. However, I do believe uh, there are actually three new forms of Tauros in this game. I don't quite know how to make them appear, but one, they are version exclusive. There is a fighting fire type version and a fighting water type version. I think. I'm not sure. But essentially, it's just, it's like, it's it's not a form that you could switch to. It's just another two forms of Tauros. Like how there's four versions of uh, Oracorio with different typings. There are now four different versions of Tauros. Normal, fighting, fighting water, fighting uh, fire. But apparently it's it's like a rare spawn. I, I don't know quite how to get it, but they said it's like... I, I think the impl I think what it is is like you have to fr find like a circle of Tauros, like how certain Pokemon can spawn in like a, like a herd. I think you have to find a whole herd together, and one of them will be the version exclusive. You think Venomat would be small because of how it looks, but nope, it's huge. It is three feet tall. Poison oozes from all over its body. It catches small bug Pokemon at night that are attracted by light. Venomoth is one of my favorite. Is one of my friend's favorite Pokemon. A couple of, uh, whatever these are called, Serenis? No. I'm getting Serena and, and Mar Marini mixed up. Steeny. Okay, well that took that thing out. I think there's another one right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna... It's it's too late now to do the gym for tonight. What I'll do is tomorrow night I'll start with both the gym and the uh, Team Star base, and then we'll go somewhere else. What I might do is I might go back to the West area and do the other Titan. Because... From what I could see, the Titans are... Uh, the Titans are... Uh, are the... Uh, the Divine Beasts of this game. Because you beat them and you get a new ability. Indeed. All right. Steamy. That makes me think of Stevia. That, that sweetener that, that gets brought up in Breaking Bad. Put it in that stevia crap you used to like putting in your drinks. Or your coffee. Steeny provides a sweet scent that makes others feel invigorated. The same scent is popular for antiperspirants. No stinky allowed. I didn't catch a bounce sweet yet? I know I've run into them. That is... The pig? Yeah, it is. It's different. I guess not. Whoa! It's a lady. Oh! Oh, it's a gender difference. 
Alright, sure, why not? Stop trying to use ground moves on my burb. Damn it! Pokemon games should really reward you for them almost getting caught. Like having the next throw be more be increased chances. That's what Pokemon Go does, actually. Pokemon Go, if you get a Pokemon, if you throw a ball at a Pokemon and it shakes two times and then they break out of it, you're like almost never gonna get it to shake less than that if you throw the same ball again. Also, it's only three shakes in Go, as opposed to four. But this game also changed it, because now once you've caught it once, it's only two shakes. But I think it still does check four times. Pokemon sends a flower-like scent wafting about. Its well-developed muscles and its legs allow it to leap more than 16 feet with no trouble at all. So it is a different, uh... It is considered a different form. Alright, I should probably head back to town. It's time to stop. I'll finish looking through town, and then I'll stop in front of the gym, and we'll start tomorrow with the second gym. Technically the first, I think. The one I did was before was the second. And then we'll do the Team Star base that's, like, right nearby. Ah, Pokemon. Baratos. Dry curry. This dish is notable for its poignant spiciness. It's usual price is also part of the appeal. Chocolate vanilla fruit parfait. Has enough calorie. Oh, yeah. So this is new. I think this item's new, but these are the same. What a nice town. Oh, Florges. Again, I haven't caught a Flabebe yet. I've run to plenty of Floettes, but I've, I've not, I don't know where the Flabebes are. I haven't tried breeding yet, either. Oh, I've already been here. This is the cafe. Where should we go? Did you buy some potions? Hey, sandwich thing. All right, you want me to? I, I could do. I could. I could wrap up with a sandwich here. Let me just finish looking through the town first, real quick. I want to play with Pokemon. This is probably where I'm going to fight him, I bet. Yeah, these were 
quick. Pop a U-turn. Oh, this might be where I'm fighting. Look, we got we got rock walls. Playground. Go try it out. So that's it. So nice. What a weird sun flora. Was this like Bugs Bunny Land at Six Flags? Come on. It's so cute. I could play with like the, the little little gizmos. Give me a neat little touch, but no, just for show. Oh, there's an item over there. I love them. I love high places. I heard outside of town there are big tall watchtowers in some places. So high. Nice view from up here. This has to be it for sure. It must be a Brassius original. Well, the style seems a little off. Skill swap. Paradoxal Popper. A work by an unknown artist. It's a Cheerio. It's a... F no, sorry. It's a Fruit Loop. Exciting. Churro, sweet as a kiss. Smooth churro. Churro, chocolate churro, cinnamon churro. Same as the other place. And a bird Pokemon with perch here. Kebabs. Pinchitos. Grilled rice balls. These rice balls have been grilled to perfection. Soy sauce based marinade is very fragrant. That's new. I think. This is the same ice cream we've seen. Teriyaki ice cream. Churros. I, I can't. I can't roll. Don't judge me. Also, I've been streaming for over three hours, so I'm tired. Want to take a dip? I didn't bring a swimsuit. More ice cream. It's good. Delicious. <laughs> que bien. This is where I said to meet. Told my girlfriend, clear as day. Let's meet the weird sculpture. What's taking her so long? Oh no, it's the Eric situation all over again. So it's on the old schedule. Look at the conflict on Sunfloor's face. Look what the artist have been feeling. Pain. I don't have cherry tomatoes. A very tart ingredient. Some varieties were also very sweet. And they are, these are prized above all others by the people of Paldea. I only have one regular tomato. Let's buy two more. Three more. Sure cans. Can do. Heh <laughs> heh. Delicioso. Oh, this is new. Bacon. This very salty ingredient has been cooked just shy of charred, making it burst with fragrance and flavor. Potato tortilla. Very salty ingredient in a popular dish in Taldea. It's undeniably filling. Prosciutto. 
This ingredient is very salty like regular ham, but the difference is prosciutto is not cooked after it's cured, giving it a fun freshness. Cucumber, a tart and bitter ingredient. Using it together with rich tasting ingredients in a sandwich will make the most of the cucumber's fresh veggie aroma. Cucumber, get that shit out of there. Excuse me. I love cu I love cucumber. All right, we're going to buy more chorizo because we need it for that sandwich you want me to make. You hate cucumber, but it's so crisp and fresh. We're back at the front, front half here. Vending machine stocked with all kinds of snacks. Oh, I can't buy anything from it though. How come I can buy the, the lemonade and stuff, but I can't buy stuff from the candy machine? It's a part of the melon family, and I don't like most of that either, so it explains a lot. Ah. Tasty filling and handy accessories. I didn't buy most of this. Cream cheese, jam, butter, pepper, salt. Every pickle you've eaten was a cucumber, yep. Need some mustard. Need to back out. Alright, I forgot I could bulk buy. I don't have any of these picks. How do I, uh... It's like if I pick silver pick... Okay. comes to 4770 Does that sound alright? Pay with cash, pay with receipt, pay with check receipt. That's cool. I like that. A neat little bit of flavor right there. Pickles, same category of not like. I love pickles, especially spicy pickles. Ah, full bloom again. Flowers sure are amazing. Machine, same shit everywhere. Just a short breather. The air is so crisp. Alright, so we, we saw that. These spring winds. When the winds start to blow, sun current come riding in on them. We've done the maze. We've been over there. Been over there. We've been in there. We've been right there. So I think it's just... Yeah, we've been near the pool. Okay, so at this point it's, pro it's pretty much just the gym. Though I've probably missed shit. Elsewhere. Kind of swim, yeah, it kind of swim, but that was how it was before. Brassy, this is unbelievable, right? Yeah, sure. Alright. Let's do a picnic real quick. Probably not best to host a picnic here. Well, where is a good place to host a picnic? Right here? Or can I just not... Okay, smartass. We're really doing that? Alright, I don't think I could do it in town. Oh, th look, there's the 
hook right there. Bonk. More squawk abilities, I don't need any more blue. Need to figure out how to get up there so I can get the, uh, the thing. I gotta be this way. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. You're lovely now. Peek inside the basket. Doesn't look like there's in the basket. So this is how breeding works. Breeding works by, by checking the basket and eggs show up. I don't know how to breed specifically. Because I think you have to have only two Pokemon on the party if you want to do it on a specific Pokemon. Otherwise it just happens randomly. Yeah, you could live it. You breed at picnics. That's how it works. Uh, redecorate. Okay, tablecloth. We got black and white grass tablecloth. That's uh, all right, I guess. Still only have the academy bottle. Still only have the academy cup. Choose a ball. Just only have the academy ball. Let's make a sandwich. Oh look, look at meows on it. I just heard you guys sort of name name him Yogi. Uh, I will do that. All right, creative mode. Uh, you gave me a recipe the other day. I'm gonna look it back up now. What was it? Far back. Chorizo cheese, egg with mayo, and a bit of salt. That was it. Now remember, this buff is getting wasted because I'm actually going out and using it. So you want to do chorizo, egg. I don't think. Oh, here's cheese. With mayo and a bit of salt. I think mayo and salt are garnishes, so they're not used now. Yep. Condiments. Mayonnaise. And salt. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And we will put a... These picks aren't that great. Let's put another red flag pick in it. I don't think those affect much. Alright, so the salt and mayo are on there already. We gotta pile on those ingredients. Cheese first. Make me hungry. Also, look, nice glitching happen up there. Why is the camera freaking out? Chorizo on there. Ooh, that's a far drop. Okay. Angle this up a bit. And finally, the egg. Uh oh. The integrity of the sandwich. Is it, well, I don't want to put a third egg on here. Alright, whatever. Put the bread on top. 
plop. And bam. I wish I could have flipped the chorizo around so it's not sticking out like that. Why is that one piece of cheese? That's happened last time, too. The, the middle ingredient, like, glitches through to the bottom. Like, that cheese is not on the sandwich in the middle. First sandwich mini game from this one. Scooby-Doo game. <laughs> nice. We enjoyed it. Tasty Michael Original, three stars. Okay, so we didn't find anything new. Encounter power normal, experience point power flying, raid power electric. All level one. Alright, not perfect, but it did do. It did be doing. Why is that experience bar so slow? Was this close to saying you guys don't have taste, lol. Hey, to be fair, I would love to try that sandwich. I don't think I've ever actually had chorizo before. Yeah, I think the rule with swimming with Karidon is if, is if the water isn't... When he doesn't have the swim ability, if the water is just, like, shallow enough, he can kind of doggy paddle through it. But, like, the second you go into a spot where the water's below where he could stand, uh, you just fall. It's actually a thing on your end just without the bread and mayo, really. Alright, my obsessive ass wants to keep playing, but I, I really should stop. It's 350, oh my god. Alright, yeah. Let me grab these and, uh... Catch a yellow squawk ability and we're done. <laughs> If I didn't do this on stream, I would just do it on my own right afterwards, so. Trees are spicy, but it's damn good you try it when you find some. Oh man, I would love it. I would love that. Tandem ass are just like, we want no part of this. These squawk ability are hot headed and their fighting style is vicious. They leap into reach with their foes to engage in close combat. I wonder if they have different stats depending on their plumage. That's what it sounds like. Am I at the edge of the world? Oh, yeah, I am. Ooh, a quick ball. So I think I have all but one type of the, uh... All but one type of the, uh... thing now. What type of meat did I have that I was going to mention? I, I've had kielbasa before, which tastes different depending on whether it's hot or cold. When it's hot, it tastes like ham. And when it's cold, it tastes like, um... It tastes like bologna, almost. I guess none of these Tauros are the rare one. Because I think they would look different on the overworld. Yeah. I just remembered having a very distinct taste, depending on whether it was heated up or not. Oh, there's a green dealing. Alright, I, re I really gotta stop. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. Yeah, I think what I'll do tomorrow is, uh, if I don't... Oh, I probably won't start streaming early, because I think I have something to do after work. But what I might do tomorrow is um, I'm just going to make, like, a beeline for, like, three different events right away. The gym here, 
the Team Star base, and then I'll do another Titan Pokemon. This is another one that I'm fairly close to. Ah, shoot. This thing's, uh... And that'll put us at, what, five events done? That's not too bad. We should go by based off the number of events that we have to do, which is 18. We've done two so far. When dealing from entering their fields, many farmers will have several lichen rocks standing guard as they are the natural enemy of Deerling. Really? Why lichen rock? I saw Teddy Ursa. Where the hell did it go? Disappeared. Oh well. Maybe later. Yeah, I'm still up. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be it for tonight. Uh, thank you so much for coming, as always. Really appreciate you guys being here. It means a lot to me. Right, a couple more balls. If you want to watch more stream? Then thank you. If you want to watch more streams? Check out twitch.tv slash team slash wild abandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Maybe. I don't know. It's four in the morning. Who cares? Uh, you take care. I will be back tomorrow. And at least tomorrow and Wednesday, if not tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it's going to work. Uh, I will not be here Thursday. Probably be here Friday. Not Saturday. Maybe special stream next Sunday. And then uh, two days, and then yeah, it's going to be kind of dry for a bit. That's why I kind of want to make progress in this as quickly as I can, because uh, if I do not finish this by next Tuesday, in terms of story... It's going to have to wait, like, almost a week for me to finish it. And even then, only if I do a long stream on that Tuesday and finish it up then. We'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. It really depends on how I use my time with this game outside of streaming, if, if any. But yeah, you have a great evening. Take care. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.